Are you serious? Are you serious? It is the fourth anniversary of that horrible earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan back on March 11, 2011, or 3-11-11. Four years later, what has happened? Well, first of all, on that day, this was a 9.0 earthquake. It was the fifth largest earthquake in the history of mankind. And it was the third earthquake of the 188-day earthquake cycle that I was uh, covering, which actually hit exactly on every sixth month. There was a major quake uh, seven consecutive times six months apart. This was earthquake of that pattern number three. Now it shook the ground literally for six minutes. And then a tsunami came inland, rushing with power and went all the way inland six miles. It left at Fukushima's nuclear power plant, six nuclear reactors melting down. It shoved the whole island eight feet, according to GPS uh, uh, coordinates. And it tilted the earth off its axle 4.8 inches, which then that wobble shortened the day by 0.1666 seconds. This was an incredible event. The tsunami killed over 26 thousand people and has left Japan in a state of mourning. And then the after effect of radiation, radiation in the air, radiation in the sea, radiation in the water they drink, radiation in the soil, radiation in the crops that grew and the numbers of cancers and horrible tumors and death. The total is unmeasurable. And we're not getting all the records. Well, it's been four years. And today, on this, the fourth anniversary of the Fukushima uh, disaster, Japan has remembered the thousands who lost their lives. This quake tsunami disaster sparked a nuclear crisis, which has left the country at odds over the nuclear power. Now, following the wall of tsunami, alarm sirens the uh, ex at 2:46 p.m. Jap Japan time the exact moment this 9.0 earthquake under the sea hit the northeast coast of Japan on 3:11:11 a moment of silence fell across Japan today citizens held remembrance ceremonies in towns and cities around the devastated area in Japan's northeast coast with victims and volunteers seen joining hands in prayer or bowing their heads during this national minute of silence. In Japan's capital, Tokyo Emperor uh, and the Empress also led the tributes to those who died in Japan's worst peacetime disaster in history. We can never forget the images of the terrifying tsunami we saw on television that day, uh, and the situation surrounding the disaster, victims remains very severe. By being aware of the pain and the sorrow and those affected by the disaster and simultaneously providing health care and moral support, we must accelerate the reconstruction process. Tokyo is going to be the host of the 2020 Olympic Games. I'm very concerned about that. I mean, I, I actually think that the Rio de Janeiro Games of 2016 is cursed. They've had sinkholes open up, uh, entire sections of the stadiums are building collapse, open sewage lines break down the streets, a mass fish death wash up on the banks where they're gonna hold the Olympic Games, uh, the summer games. I mean, the, the, read De Janeiro. I, I'm serious about this. But wait, then we're talking Tokyo. Radiation, fallout everywhere. And oh, by the way, guess where they're going to play the baseball and softball games in the 2020 Olympics? At 
Fukushima. They're literally going to play it in the city of Fukushima, Japan. What? Are you serious? Are you seriously serious? Anyway, I want to just say we've been praying. I have been praying. Matter of fact, we have followers of our ministry, partners of our ministry in Japan. And Japan has less than 1% Christianity. And yet there are some who follow us. I have two different people who write us all the time from Japan. They were there. They experienced this awful day of 3-11-11. Our prayers go out for you folks and for the nation of Japan and for all those that have suffered from this horrific event. But it's going to get worse. Jesus said there will be earthquakes in divers places or different places. And all of these are just the beginning of sorrows. We're in that time now, and it is the last days. And I'm going to ask the people of Japan that I'm praying for, all of you, if those that are watching this are not saved, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, I would ask you to pursue him. I would ask you to inquire about him and call upon him, for he loves you. And we're praying. God bless, in Jesus' name.